Hello to all everyone and welcome to our new cryptocurrency video analysis. I really want to update you based on the latest substructures uh, because I think that um, we may see some limited upside here on Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies in general. Um, as you know, since last time we talked about bullish Bitcoin as long as we are trading above 50,000. We came close closely to 70,000 to a new all time highs. And now I think that um, we have to be always very careful whenever we are trading a new all time highs. Why? Because at all time highs, a lot of traders will try to play a breakout. Okay, a lot of traders will um, look towards 100,000, which is fine, but just be aware that there can be corrections and that nothing moves in straight line. And especially when you have the wave structures that could support this idea. Now, I'm tracking two different wave counts. Don't get me wrong. I have one very bullish wave count and one uh, tracking this correction. So I will go into details on both. Now, this primary wave count actually sh shows that you have this free wave movement to a new high. I think that this is very important structure, especially if we maybe try to fail to see a continuation higher, but rather see a drop. Why? Because this free wave movement to a new high could actually represent a flat correction or irregular correction. Okay, and why I think these corrections these flat corrections or irregular corrections can be very significant is that because you have at new highs a lot of traders who are trying to play a breakout okay so you have obviously bullish sentiment will increase and on the other hand you have a lot of traders who were positioned short but they had stop losses at these all-time highs so actually if the market will turn to the downside both sides of the traders will be trapped on the wrong foot so actually from psychological perspective i would not be surprised to see this happening because everyone is so bullish on bitcoin that actually we have to maybe make a step back and just be aware that this may not be the case or at least it may not be straight move to the upside towards 100,000. so here my primary wave count suggests that we recently completed or we are close to completion this five wave rise within wave c okay that's the primary wave count so what you would be expecting on this development is to see a significant reversal back to the downside okay that's one scenario the second scenario is that actually this wave this third leg up from september is actually not wave C of a flat, but maybe even wave three. Who knows? But even if you look closely to this wave three, okay, even this one, even this structure suggests that market could see a retracement or a slowdown. Why? Because you have again five waves up. So even if I have a very aggressive bullish wave count, it suggests that we may actually see a slowdown into this upcoming wave four which could later on find a support around 57,000. okay so i have two different interpretations and both suggest that we could see a limited upside again if we go to this four hour time frame chart well notice that we can count very nicely again five waves up but more importantly the recent push to a new all-time high came out of a triangle now triangle occurs prior to the final move within a larger trend so this fifth wave is actually final piece of this larger trend that we've been talking about or describing now from september levels so i would not be surprised actually to see this market slowing down as i said the only question is if maybe we'll see a free wave setback or maybe even impulsive decline i just think that we should be very very careful now at the same time keep in mind that this current uh, drop from a new high up look, looks quite aggressive and if we can also extend weakness through this channel super line which is Elliott wave channel by the way then of course this would suggest that we are headed even lower as i said maybe if only for a free wave drop maybe even for an impulse but in both cases i think you have to be very very careful at these levels now let's go further and let's take a look at total market cap now here again we have potentially five waves up moving into this resistance okay and now we are trying to fail to, um, at the highs we actually came to the downside still 
did not break this trend line, but if that would be the case, then again, this could trigger more weakness or a deeper correction. If we take a look on this crypto total market cap that excludes Bitcoin, again, very similar situation, you have potential five waves up moving into this resistance. Of course, there is a chance for another push to the upside, but the idea is that we are in a very late stages of these cycles, okay? Another thing or another chart that I want to uh, pay attention on is actually Bitcoin volatility. Notice that we have, again, this Bitcoin volatility coming to the lows despite prices coming to a new all-time highs. So actually, it suggests that sooner or later, this volatility will again pick up. But when this happens, well, usually when there's a lot of fear on the markets, where there are a lot of sellers who want to get rid of their investments, and this usually accelerates the bear market. And that's why you see a pickup in volatility. Yes, there were some um, cases when you have seen uh, that actually this volatility occurred in the middle of an uptrend. Okay, but I think that you, we have to be very careful whenever we have volatility very low, but cre crypto prices very, very high at extreme levels. It's a different story if, let's say, Bitcoin would be much, much lower, like we have seen here in uh, back in July um, of this year, and then you also have prices lower and volatility lower. Okay, then obviously that's the different case. But now you have prices at extreme but volatility lower. So if we see an increase in volatility, I would not be surprised again to see this market actually reversing to the downside rather than extending much, much higher towards 100,000. I just think that we will firstly slow down. Now, if we go even further, let's take a look at gold copper ratio. Now, this some refers to like indicator for economic health. Okay, if you see gold doing worse than copper then means then this means that economy is doing better okay because investors are not looking for safe havens like gold they are not looking for move into the us dollars but now what we are seeing here is that actually this gold copper ratio came back to this multi year support level okay and notice that this has happened with five waves down and always in the past, when this has been the case, we rallied quite nicely. Uh, this was since 2013, quite nicely away from that levels. And what happened at the same time is that actually stocks, as you can see here on the bottom, either moved sideways, sideways or even to the right, uh, sorry, sideways or even to the downside when this market, actually this ratio, moved uh, into these extreme levels so now when we are here at these extreme levels well keep in mind that traders could be turning back to the safety look for maybe for investment in metals such as gold and silver and obviously if something dramatically happens more important would be the us dollar in general so i think that these stocks of course are very very extended yes they are bullish but if you are having an investment approach just be aware that these current cycles could be in very very late stages but now what has to do this with the bitcoin well if we compare the bitcoin uh new pain okay if we compare this with the bitcoin uh let me move to existing pay above you can actually see here that when stock market okay has moved to the downside at the same time even bitcoin has slowed down again this occurred in 2018 this occurred here in 2020 so now imagine if again stocks would slow down even just moving sideways i think that this could also limit the upside on cryptocurrencies as well okay that's one thing the next important thing is that actually more weakness or strong drop on stocks could actually force investors to also to take their risky investments out of cryptocurrencies like i have been talking about this several times in the past i cannot imagine someone taking their money or investments from 
stock markets and just leaving them in cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are much more volatile and that's why they are much more riskier. And that's why I think that if someone will pull their money out of stocks, they will also pull their money out of cryptocurrencies. And this could actually trigger a lot more downside on these markets. OK, traders, I really, I really um, hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the commentary below. Trade well. Bye.